some point between the hours of 10.30 p.m. on September 26, 1977, and 3.25 a.m. on the 27th, Margaret Lee vanished from her crib. Her disappearance from an unsuspecting house on a quiet street in the idyllic town of Garrison was only the beginning of the horrors that would follow. Margaret's father, Walter Lee, was the last to see her alive when he checked on her right before going to bed at 10.30 p.m. She was swaddled, safe, and soundly asleep in the study they'd converted into a nursery. Esther Lee, her mother, had retired to bed a few hours prior, exhausted after a full day of watching their seven-month-old infant and 12-year-old son, Douglas. The young boy, himself asleep one room over on the second floor of their house, would be the one to discover she was missing when he was startled awake by fire engines at 3.25 a.m. Following weeks of investigations, police ended their search for her to the dismay of the Lee family. From that horrible night forward, Margaret Lee was never seen again.